All right, y'all. So at this point, I think that everyone is trying to give Tyler Perry advice that he don't want to hear. How many times he got to show y'all? He don't want to hear it. All right, let's get into it. Y'all know that anytime Tyler Perry drops a movie, it's tons and tons of discourse, right? And I am not, this is what this video is about because I'm not sure why there's always discourse. Tyler Perry has been very clear about how he feels about all this, right? But let's talk about it. So apparently the news came out that Tyler Perry's new movie that he just dropped with Megan Good and all them uh, got a 0%, a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. More specifically, Screen Rant said this, Tyler Perry's newest prime video drama, Divorce in the Black, nabs a shocking and exceedingly rare 0% score on the Rotten Tomatoes tomato meter. Girl, they said a shocking and exceedingly rare 0% score. Like, you cannot make this up. They said, we knew you were going to fail the test, but a 0%? Did you even put your name on the exam when you turned it in? I mean, you could at least get some points for that, right? And then I thought about, I'm like, who am I kidding? Of course, Tyler Perry put his name on the exam. Well, of course he put his name on it. It's the only name that was ever going to be on it in the first place. Produced, written, directed, edited, VFX, costuming, set design, soundtrack, lighting, cinematography, all done by Tyler Perry. <laughs> if Tyler Perry could be the cameraman to avoid giving any of you nignogs a scent, of his coin, then that's exactly what he's gonna do. Don't play <laughs> Don't play with it. Don't play with it. So yeah, of course, when this news came out about the terrible reception of his movie, everyone went into the mode that they've gone into for the past decade. The mode where y'all give Tyler Perry advice that he vehemently ignores, that he goes out of his way to make sure he don't see, don't internalize, and don't even acknowledge. So yeah, everyone's gagging on the timeline like, oh my gosh, Tyler Perry needs to do this. Tyler Perry needs to do that. Tyler Perry needs to hire black writers. Tyler Perry needs to delegate tasks to other people so he ain't doing all this shit. <laughs> One critique in particular went viral and it was Lonnie Love. She said this, she said, I love that Tyler is paying black actors now. I wish, <laughs> the fact that y'all even have to say that shit. <laughs> I love that he's paying, he's paying black actors now. <laughs> anyway, she said, I love that Tyler is paying black actors now. I wish he would hire black writers and directors that have experience to help him with his movies. He could improve the movies and make them award worthy if he would stop trying to save money by doing the writing and directing himself. And I love, I love that y'all are giving him this advice because he does not care. She says, oh, uh, he could improve the movies. You can't suggest that someone improves something when they think it's, it's good and perfect already. Like, that's it. He does not care. Y'all have been saying this over and over and over, year after year after year, almost two decades. Y'all, decades, y'all saying this shit. Decades. Tyler does not care. He does not care. Do you, you don't think that his billionaire ass could write and produce a really good movie, you know, with help, collaboration, if he wanted to? If he wanted to? He don't care about the ratings. He doesn't care about what y'all think, what, what people are saying about the movie. The only thing this man cares about, I promise you, I promise you, the only thing he cares about is the clicks and the views. He's like, girl, why would I spend money on this shit and that shit and all this shit? Y'all gonna click and hate watch anyway. Y'all gonna click and watch anything as long as the Tyler Perry name is on it. Why would I, why would I spend more money? A view is a view and a click is a click. Don't matter if you're watching it because you hate it or you're watching it because you like it. I'm still getting the coin. <laughs> so in my opinion, he has long decided that he'd rather put out trash and collect a coin than invest in his shit, invest in other creatives, and then have to split a coin with them even if that coin is minuscule, right? Listen, and the reason why I know that is because I reference this all the time because every time I think about it, it literally leaves me flabbergasted. Some time ago, Tyler Perry was sitting next to one of his lead actresses in an interview. Crystal Fox is her name. 
sitting next to her, sitting next to her. It was an interview about his movie, A Fall from Grace. He's trying to promote it, right? So they're being interviewed. The interviewer asked Tyler Perry about the wigs. And keep in mind, he is sitting right next to the lead actress. And this is the lead actress's response to the question about the wigs while she's sitting right next to him, girl. The face, this is the face she was making when Tyler Perry responded to the interviewer's question. Tyler Perry said, me and the lead actress, Crystal Fox, sitting right here, um, Tyler said, me and the actress, we had a knockdown, drag out argument about the wigs in one of the scenes. It was very emotional for her. And I'm just like, and he said it in a very dismissive way. Like, it was very emotional for her. She was just going through it. Like, and I'm just like, uh, yeah, because she's an actress. She has to get into the part. And she's a black woman on screen. Like, why wouldn't a topic like hair be serious and emotional? Anyway, Tyler continues talking to the interviewer, answering the question by saying essentially that the actor is different from the character and the character has different hair than the actor. And it was very corny because Crystal Fox immediately responds by saying, I'm always asking for the things I need, things I feel I need as a character, as a woman, as a woman of color. Our hair is part of the journey. So it is very, very important. And for some people, it's hard to stress that that is that important. Obviously, she's shading Tyler Perry, keep like sitting right next to him. Then Tyler responds like this. He says, yes, hair is important, but figure that shit out before you get on camera. And I'm not exaggerating. That's what he said. As long as y'all figure that shit out before it's time to shoot, I'm good. I don't have time to wait five hours and spend $10 million while you're trying to figure out which curl is better for you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that's what he said in public, in an interview to the face of his lead actress while they were both sitting there trying to promote the movie. You fighting with your lead actress in an interview promoting a movie? If he's saying this to his lead actress for everyone to see, I promise y'all, he don't give a damn about y'all advice or anything y'all talking about. And this is just a topic of wigs. We ain't get to the real shit like tired ass plot colorism, the strange portrayals of blackness and black people, religious psychosis. <laughs> like we ain't even get to the real stuff. This is how he talks to his own stars about the wigs that they're uncomfortable in, that they make that, that they make known to him that they're uncomfortable in. He said, I don't care. He literally said, figure that shit out offset as if that's not supposed to be included in the whole filmmaking process. If he's literally arguing with his lead actress on camera about something that as a filmmaker, he's supposed to take care of, you're supposed to listen to your artists and your creatives and your actors when they, t when they ask you for things that they need to perform well on your set. Like if he's treating his lead actress like this, I promise y'all Tyler don't care about nothing that y'all saying, especially if at the end of the day, he feels like y'all gonna watch anything he put out anyway. It's like when y'all get mad at me for dragging the Democrats, why would they offer you anything better than the scraps and manure that they give you to eat if you always accept what they give you no matter what? What would be their incentive to change if you silence everybody who's saying, well, girl, this shit seems silly. It seems like Tyler said, anytime one of my new movies come out, y'all always go race to watch it, no matter how bad it is. And listen, a view is a view. I don't have to spend more money. If y'all gonna just keep eating the same BS, y'all gonna keep watching it anyway. It's a revolving door with that man. The only way to get him to change his stuff is if those stats and those analytics take a plummet. And they're not, because everybody clicking on his shit. Y'all clicking on his shit. Other than that, if his bank accounts keep filling up, Y'all gonna keep getting the same thing. And then like clockwork, y'all gonna come online giving Tyler Perry advice that he clearly doesn't value at all. After the 10th shitty movie, after the 10th horrible Tyler Perry movie, why do y'all still come up here acting like he give a damn? <laughs> this is his business model. To get y'all mad, to get y'all, and not even, y'all clearly are not that mad because y'all keep going on the streaming sites and clicking the shit. It would not be created. He would not have the, the power to create this shit if nobody was watching the shit. So he, in his mind, he's like, y'all watch, y'all keep watching it. I'm gonna keep making it. <laughs> like acting like y'all sitting here giving this, this guy with a billion dollars, like sitting here trying to give him advice on his movies and like, this is what you could do. You could hire this X, Y, and Z. You don't think that man know that? <laughs> 
Y'all don't think this man knows that? He don't care. He don't care. He says, as long as y'all keep clicking, I'm going to keep on making it. And that's it. Produced by Tyler, written by Tyler, directed by Tyler, edited by Tyler, VFX by Tyler, set by Tyler, uh, costume by Tyler, bitch. You, what, you heard what I'm saying? Script by Tyler. Everything by Tyler, girl. <laughs> he said, if y'all don't like it, don't watch it. But apparently y'all like it because y'all keep watching. Everybody watches it. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me what you think about this topic. Love y'all so much. And make sure that you have a good Goddamn evening. It's a shakedown when a nigga come to town. Huh? Sick of showing all these bitches gonna drown. And all these pussies get so nervous cause they let me out the pound. It's a shakedown. Your pussy bitch get on the ground. Get on the ground. It's a shakedown.